juicy steak with green pea frittatas, hamburgers with dried tomatoes and sweet onions, and Scottish fillet of salmon with wild berry garnish. It's not what you'd expect to be offered at the average barbecue in Germany. These 20 people, 19 men and one woman, are taking part in a course to widen their culinary repertoire. I love barbecuing. I cook all kinds of things, but I think I'll learn a lot here. For me, it's about having fun together. I'd like to have a go at some of these dishes at home, the marinated sausages, the steaks or the salmon. The courses are held in a former monastery in the town of Ingelheim in southwestern Germany by chef Bart Moos. He says good outdoor cooking requires the proper techniques. Whether the barbecue is wood-fired, gas-powered or electric, most food should be cooked over indirect heat with the lid on. That ensures the food cooks faster and more evenly. There are a few tricks to improve the flavour too. These are cedarwood planks. They've been soaked in water. You can use them for smoking. Wherever you cook on them acquires a smoked flavour. The first items on today's five-course menu are hot dogs, seasoned with balsamic vinegar and red wine. It's a new taste sensation for course participants used to sausages with mustard and pork chops with gravy. They're finding out that you can also grill food outdoors in bad weather and that the most important thing is the preparation. I don't have to stand in front of the grill the whole time. If I plan things properly, I can be there for my guests too. Then it's more fun. I can be a proper host and not just someone who spends the whole evening sweating behind the barbecue. These days the work is made easier by high-end equipment. Specialist stores like this one in Mainz sell all kinds of gadgets to make the experience more convenient, including designer grills, fancy tongs and recipe books. Weber's complete barbecue book is a bestseller in Germany, but customers invest most in the grill itself. A good one can cost thousands of euros and be a status symbol. It's like when your neighbor went out and bought an expensive car. Today the neighbor gets a high-end grill, and to keep up with the Joneses, you find yourself wanting one too. Back to Bart Moose's barbecue school. For him and his colleague Aaron Goodfleisch, first-class outdoor cooking begins with a shopping trip. And not just to the butchers. They consider variety to be the spice of barbecuing life. You can barbecue anything. Whatever you can cook in a kitchen, you can cook on a grill. The only thing I don't grill is pasta, but I barbecue everything else. Cake, bread, meat, vegetables, fish, anything and everything that occurs to me. Even ice cream has found its way onto the grill of the Belgian-born cook. For dessert, the course participants are making barbecued ice cream bombs. The frozen interiors are completely coated with whipped egg white before being popped on the grill for a few moments. An easy-going atmosphere, delicious cooking. It was a great evening. The dessert was totally new for me, cooking ice cream on a grill. Everything else was delicious and interesting too. After the dessert, the lessons may be over, but the fledgling barbecuers are just getting started. They'll take with them plenty of new recipes to try out at home. <laughs>